have a look at how insane things start getting as I walk further away from the house. What's up guys, welcome to Supercars of London. How are you all doing? And hopefully you've been enjoying the content recently on not only my channel, but also Seb, Sam, and Tim's. Link is in the description. This is a video that I probably wouldn't usually film, but as we're here for the next two and a half weeks, I thought that I'd give you a quick house tour of where we are staying, and huge thank you to Seb for allowing us to come down here. This is where we stayed for Monaco Top Marks, and it is an incredible place. Loads of bathrooms, but an incredible place. And as you can see, we've got a fantastic view of the center of Monaco as well. So I'm gonna give you a whole overview of the house, the cars, the views, and hopefully you guys are gonna enjoy this video. Ow, I'm standing literally on stones. <laughs> but check out that incredible view. You can also see a swimming pool down there somewhere. I don't know. But we are up in the hills of La Turbi, which is just outside of Monaco and is an incredible place. The driving roads are unbelievable. Fantastic for all of these cars that I've got in front of me, but I'm gonna show you them in a bit. Let's head downstairs. As you can see here, this is not the house like Sam said in his video. We are not all staying in the garage. Ow, ow, my feet are killing me. But if you look down here, the house is actually on a few different levels. And this is the garage where the incredible Renault Twizzy stays. And let's just head downstairs. Bit of point of view. What an incredible view. Waking up to this every morning is seriously special. And we come to the big green front door. So we come into the hall area, and I'm talking loud and it is echoing. So I'm gonna be waking up a few people, I think. But this is where the magic happens. And there's a mirror here, hello. And we come through here, and there's many, many doors that are the same. Let's go in here and see what's going on. Oh, look who it is. It is Seb Oi. Delaney. <laughs> Oi. <laughs> How long have you been up for? About half an hour or so. I'm giving everyone a guided tour of the incredible house. This is the first time that Seb has seen daylight for today. How are your eyes? Uh, well, I'm fine, I guess. Not so good. <laughs> <laughs> and again, we get a really cool view. And um, yeah, I'm gonna shut this now because I feel bad for your eyes. Oh yeah, here we go. Very white, and we come through to the magic editing suite that is. Hey, where's Sam gone? I was expecting Sam to be in here. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> you literally scared the hell out of me there. This is our living space and also editing suite. Sam, would you like to give a tour? This is the bed. This is the bed. We don't share. I have this mattress. <laughs> Sam is currently on the mattress on the floor. Basically, because we're here for two and a half weeks, we're going to do one week swapping, basically. So at the moment, I am in this space, which is... Really comfy. I literally set up his iPhone, gone play. I've been waiting so long. Play. So this section of the house is the bathroom area. Every single one of these doors has an ensuite bathroom. So let's check every single one out. Bathroom number one. Nice. Nice bathroom. Nice. Bathroom number two. Nice. Nice bathroom. Bathroom number three. Nice. Nice bathroom. But they're all the same. Last one. Nice. Nice bathroom. Weird. So the coolest bit of the house is the fact that this is on sub-ground level. Ground level is obviously where I started the video. Now we're going underground and the rest of the house, the kitchen, and where the magic happens is even further below ground. I'm going underground into a cave 
and Sam has somehow got down before me and is looking super cool and Sev. <laughs> this <laughs> so this is the main living space. Seb, get down off your <laughs> off your table. People eat there, right? <laughs> <laughs> and this is the coolest living space I have seen. Sam, what do you think? I think we'll review it. Oh, well, I'm in the video. <laughs> <laughs> so whilst Seb has breakfast, let's move on from the kitchen and living space into what I believe to be another bathroom. Oh no. It's actually... Must be an outdoors bathroom. Let's investigate. So, lots of trees and green things. We've got an unflated football here that I don't think will be worth kicking. I'm not sure how long that has been there. But check this out. This is seriously cool. We've got an enchanted garden right here, and I'm not sure how okay this is to walk around with nothing on my shoes. But this is by far the coolest bit of the house. We have got an infinity pool, which at the moment is not coming up how it appears in real life on my camera. But this is seriously, seriously beautiful. I'm gonna open the gate and go into the pool area. We've got deck chairs here. And oh my God, in the summer, this thing must be insane. I'm quite nervous. But behind, you can see... Ooh, what was that? There is the house that we're staying in. So this is the perfect view of the house tour. And I've never seen this before. I've stayed here twice and never seen this view because I've never come out into the garden. And I'm feeling quite nervous about where I'm standing at the moment. <laughs> but what an incredible place this is. So we are back out in the front of the house where I started the video and I'm gonna carry on walking and just have a look at how insane things start getting as I walk further away from the house. So you can see that behind me we've got all of Tim's cars, the blue crew, and here we have Sam's brand new F-Type and my Lamborghini as well, which has just been cleaned yesterday. So I'm going to give you an overview of the car and what it looks like when it's been cleaned. But as car garages go, this is not bad at all. We have Tim's collection here, which is the Ferrari FF, which is his daily car. This is the car that he uses to shuttle people up and down from the hills. That moped needs to stop. So Tim's FF is the car that he uses to shuttle people back up and down the hill from which is down there which I showed you earlier. We've got the Cayman GT4 which we drove down here with which sounds incredible and absolutely shifts for 380 brake horsepower I think, apologies if I'm wrong, that car is seriously seriously quick. I talk about manageable power quite a lot but in the mountains and here that is literally the perfect car to have here. And then we move on to this car, the McLaren 675LT, which is just beautiful in every single way. If you just look around this car, it just gets better and better. It's got a satin carbon, I think it's called, all the way around the car. And I'm gonna be doing more videos on all of these cars here, but I also wanted to do this house tour and head down into Monaco and do some car spotting of and show you some cars that just aren't these cars. Yesterday evening we saw Massa's LaFerrari. I didn't have my camera which was annoying but I did post a picture on Instagram. So make sure you go and check that out because it was seriously, seriously cool. But Sam's car is beautiful. Now the pictures just do not do this car justice. The diamond car wheels are actually awesome. In pictures, when Sam sent it to me, I wasn't overly fussed by them. But in real life, they are really, really cool. The interior is one of the best things about the Jaguar. It is so plush. Plush, is that the right word? So luxurious. It just is incredible. And the sound this car makes is nuts. The crackles and pops, it sounds like gunfire. In first gear, booting it in sport mode or dynamic and coming down the rev range, it just crackles. And let's move on to the car that is currently white for the first time in a long time. One of my favorite things about this car is actually the wheels, which I forgot what they look like in that color. And as we go down, it just looks so good. 
I am. Um, I can't believe this is my car. I still can't believe that this is my car. It is pretty insane. But thank you for watching and make sure that you subscribe if you haven't and give it a thumbs up if you've enjoyed this video checking out where we're staying for the next two and a half to three weeks. I can't wait to jump in all of these cars and give you a bit more of an in-depth look of the sound, the interior and also the speed as we drive around the hills up here. So I'm going to head back inside now, edit this video, get it online and I will see you tomorrow. Cheers guys.